Okay, so welcome to another Synfig tutorial and we'll be taking a look at the Canvas metadata um, properties today. So let's get right into it. Um, so the Canvas metadata is located here, this icon right here. So if you click on this, you'll see a bunch of information that you should never ever <laughs> trouble. Okay, but today we are going to meddle around this thing right here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove my background. All right, so we can get a better view of the entire canvas here. And I'm going to show you what each of these does. Well, most of them, because I still don't know what this does, the jack offset. Um, I checked the documentation and it says it sets the jack synchronization offset time. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> so we'll be leaving this out um, for this tutorial. Okay, so uh, let's start with the first. So we have the background first color. And what this is um, referring to is the background color for this checkerboard background look um, right here. Uh, so we have the background first color and we have the background second color. So these are both referring to these two colors, these two grays, gray squares. So if I should go and change this to, and we see, three different values so i know off the back of my hand or the back of my head or the top of my head that zero 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 is black so if i type that in and press enter this the squares become black for the first background color and i know that one 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 is white uh, so if i go to the background second color and i type um one space one space one press enter that becomes white right so you can change the colors for your um, background here if you wanted to um, I don't really care much for the background here because I mean it's not like we, we'll be using it for anything or in any animations or anything right um, this is just a space the canvas space for you to do your work but just in case you want to change it or wanted to change it for whatever reason you can use in the canvas metadata uh, so the background size is referring to the the tile size is here so by default it's 15 so let me change this to for example 20 and space 20 press enter we see that it's increasing in size right so if I go all the way up to maybe 50 it gets bigger and bigger right okay um, you might want to remember the values before you go ahead and change them, right? Just in case within the same document you want to revert back to the default. But if you should create another document, it would come up as new. Okay, so you don't need to worry. Uh, so yeah, let's continue. So the grid color is referring to the color of the grid. So if we turn on the grid, um, and you can turn on the grid by going to canvas, option and then show grid or you know the shortcut key control and g okay so let me zoom in so we can see uh the grid and yeah so you can change the color of the grid using this and because we know that um it's easy to change it between white and black so i'm gonna change this to white i mean if we change it to white we probably won't be able to see it um one 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 and it's white so obviously you can't see it you can see it here on the canvas right but you can't see it here because this entire space is white uh, so that's how you would change the grid color and i'm going to change this to black actually okay uh show grid now this has a value of one and programming usually zero refers to um well zero and one refers to an on and off state and uh, one is usually when something is on and zero is when something is off. So uh, the grid size is on as indicated by the one. And if you want to turn it off, just press type zero and the grid is off, right? Of course, you can come here and turn it on and off or go all the way into canvas options or use your shortcut keys, right? Um, so next up, we have the grid snap. And this is just referring to the snap 
of the grid that it allows you to snap objects onto the grid whenever you have the grid turned on so i'm not going to go into that because you know you already know how to do that um and the guide color is referring to the guides so um you can get guides by click uh clicking and dragging outside of the the ruler here so wherever you see these lines if you should just left click and drag you get guides that come out of these so you can actually you know set up guides to help you out um, when you're doing your drawings or whatever it may be okay and to get rid of the guides you just uh pull them well click and drag them back in the direction that you got them from so for example this i just drag it back to the left and the others i drag them up and again you can just pull out to get them back so so the yeah so the guide color is referring to the color of these lines you can change them here if you want to uh show guide well guide show obviously this is referring to whether you are seeing the guides or not it's on one now so if i type zero it will go off and if i type one it would come on uh guide snap uh that's referring to 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 snap objects onto the guides just like how you would snap objects onto the grid that's what that is referring to um guide x um I, i'm actually not sure what guide x does uh so we'll, <laughs> we'll skip that for now um don't think it's important either type 10 oh okay so i guess that sorts of moves the guide okay i'm i'm learning this oh okay cool great i've never tested that 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 option out but it moves the guide on the x-axis which now that i think about it makes <laughs> makes a lot of sense all right so you can use that to move your guides uh as i said before i do not know what this does so i will skip that and the onion skin um we can turn on and off the onion skin here so it's off now so let me type one and we can see the onion skin is highlighted here and uh let me actually turn it off uh clicked on the wrong one onion skin zero and you can see that it's no longer highlighted meaning it's off so you can control um all those options down here in the canvas um the canvas metadata okay um and yeah you can alter the future onion skin and the past which are which deals with these two values here the beginning and the end of your animation and um, that's pretty much it for the canvas metadata so yeah hope you learned something in this tutorial and i will see you in the next one Yo.